So the best way of having comments on your blog might be just to get a third party commenting system. But let's say you just want really simple comments under your article. Well, this is how you can get that done. So log into your website or your web project and go to your database tables here, create another table. Let's call this comments and let's click create table right over here. Now for the first column, we already have a name. We're just going to leave that as is for the second one. We're going to have comment. I mean, this is the third one because the ID is the first one text. We're going to use text area for the comment itself, create field. Then for the third one, we're going to use a reference field, and this is going to be connected with the articles. So this just means we just want the comment to be tracked to a specific article. That's why we're doing this. Create field. And there we go. And let's just create Marson a comment. This article is excellent. Oops, there we go. Which article? Well, let's go with the first article. We only have three here. So that, let's go ahead and create. Now, of course, this is not how your users are going to create comments, but I'm just going to create one so we can build out the commenting system itself. Now I'm going to go to design here and let's go from my home page to the article page. There we go. This is the article and let's go with first article. So we actually see what's happening here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I will add into this container. I'm going to go and add horizontal separator. Can't really see it because of the layout of the div. So I'm going to go to sizing and I'm going to go with width full. There we go. That's a little separator over there here. And then you can do this in many ways. What I will do is actually create another container that will go under this one can actually go ahead and hide this. So it's a little easier to see. I'm going to create another container and I'm going to make it the size of the first one, which means from here, I'm going to turn this into 60 instead of 80 because that's how, how big this other container is here. And then what I'm going to do is add a div for the database for connecting it to the tables. There's a div block and we can just go ahead and connect it right away. The source is going to be dynamic page data and connected relations connected relationship. This is what we did with the reference field uh, in the comments table. We created that last one. We connected with the with it with the articles. So this is the article page and it's going to be connected to that table we created. All right. So here it is. That's the connection we want. And now I'm going to use a div just because I want to put two inline text elements here. It's one, that's two. And then I'm going to actually also add paragraph. This is going to be for the comment itself. And now let's go ahead and connect all these. So I'm going to go to, it's already the settings here are already selected. So I'm just going to change the key of this element to comment. And there's the comment. This article is excellent because we're in the first article and that's where this comment was added right in the tables. Now with this inline text, I'm going to go with the created date and I'm going to change it to a shorter version of instead of September, it's just going to say SEP. And with this first one, well, I'm going to use the name for this one. Let's go with key name. There we go. Now let's go to design and let's change the weight to bold. There we go. Let's click this date field again and let's change the color to make it a grayish color. And there we go. We can also separate it from the comment a little bit by using spacing just really quickly. All right, so we have one comment and we can go ahead and add another comment. Let's go to comments again, plus button. Now let's go with Jill. Here's another comment. And it's also going to be in the first article. All right, there we go. Create. 
And now we have two comments. And if we go back to our canvas, we can see how this actually looks. Okay, so now make, make sure it's saved. And now let's go ahead and refresh. And let's go choose because here is what we built out, right? But because this is a dynamic page, we need to choose the article here. There you go. And there you go. We got two comments. And again, we can just see if we like this, if we like what we see here. And if we don't, we can go ahead again and change the spacing here. So, so the comments are spaced out nicely. All right, and now what what else do we need? Well, we need to actually allow our users to add comments, right? So we need a form. So let's do that because they're not going to be adding it through the database like we well, like we just did. And uh, let's go into the container. And in this container, I'm going to go to form, choose data, create and edit local data, database data entries, add. All right, now very important. What we want to do first is, well, this is not that important, but I want these comments to be added above these ones. So I don't want the comment, the comment form to be at the bottom of the comments. I want people to be able to add their comments uh, without having to scroll down. That's why I'm going to put it here. And you see what happened. Two of them were created because they were created in this comments section uh, because this is not where the form should go. It should go a little further up. There we go. There it is. And now we can start adding some input fields. Let's add input, just a, reg, a simple text input. Um, and then let's go ahead and add text area. This is for the comment itself. And now the button. All right. And again, we can grab this form, go to spacing, change spacing a bit. And there we go. Same here. Let's go ahead and change the spacing a bit. There you go. It looks a little nicer. And again, you can add another you can add another separator here if you like. It just depends on how how you want this design to look. And with this button, I'm going to go with submit or or save if you like. And now we just have to actually connect these fields. So, I'm going to go to settings again here. Save from data to no form data source. All right, so let's go to the form again. Source. And this time we're going to need this one here. Dynamic page data, referencing tables, comment on article, articles. This is the one we're looking for. There we go. And now if we go back to this input field, we can see the placeholder here. I'm going to call it name. So people can put in their name and the column in our table is going to be the name column. Now I'm going to do the same thing with, with the comment area here. Column, I want it to be the comment column. And the placeholder holder is going to be comment. There we go. All right, looks like we are ready to go. Now with the submit button, we can go ahead and right click, create page workflow. If we want before we do that, we can make it an easier, a nicer ID here. Otherwise, just a random one will be generated. Submit form comment. Yeah, let's do that. Submit comment. All right. And now if we right click, create component, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. So let me just actually click this component. It doesn't matter that it's a component, but let's just de detach it here. There it, there it is. It's not a component anymore. And let's do what we were supposed to do, which is create a page workflow. There we go. Submit comment is clicked. That is that button, right? Click here to data submit form. And since it's connected to that table, it's going to show the name of that table here, comments. Save changes. And let's go back to the canvas. We're back. Let's go here. Everything looks OK. And now let's just test it. Let's make sure everything is fine. Let's go ahead and click Preview. Scroll down. Joe, yet another comment. And let's see if this works. All right, let's scroll down. And there we go, yet another comment. And let's make sure these comments are not under every single article. Second article. Scroll down. Here's the form. And another one. 
submit. There we go. Now you can have comments under your articles. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.